Waterfall. In the top right, we have the Red Terran, Buddy. Let's make some noise for Hero. He is going to come out firing in this first game. Waterfall a map, which is good for Terran. You don't necessarily need to do anything too weird, but double racks, double Reaper to begin with. This can lead you into a very quick bio follow-up as well, of course. Hero's gone a little safe. He got the Zealot out. He's a little wary of what's going on, but two Reapers, that's the last thing I feel like Hero is expecting at the moment. And here come the Reapers. Hero's going to have to micro a little bit. The Adept's not going to be enough by its lonesome, uh, backed up by a Bunny. Okay, sure, but already the grenade's pretty good. We already knew that Bunny is pretty clever with the grenades. At least kept the Adept off his back a little bit longer, and then actually manages to escape the main base with two Reapers, so more probes are going to go down. Five, perhaps six. No, he's not going to dive after. He's going to try and scramble around here and avoid at least maybe losing all of his Adepts, but... Oh, wait, no, 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 oh, God. Wow, okay. I actually did not think that disc was going to throw. I thought that Reaper was out alive, and I was going to say it was already tremendous. Five workers, you know, you killed the Zealot early as well. I mean, this has to be right. We've got a reactor on a barracks, but no tech lab. So he's not looking to invest into bio upgrades or anything. This is 100% looking to get going very quickly. Two tanks in the medevac, a bunch of Marines to join on the ground. Bunny wants to take a position across the map and get going early here in this game number one. Yeah, absolutely. And Hero's trying to keep an eye on that. It's not just if there's an attack coming, but what exactly is the attack? You know, do you expect a couple of Cyclones and Vikings being pumped out continuously? Do you expect two tanks inside of this medevac? Well, Hero now knows exactly what it is. He's got to start his defense. Already an Immortal, about 80% done. Working his way up to a Robotics Bay, which can be kind of safe, but it's not here right now. This push is so fast from Bunny. Yep, the Immortal's going to be the real savior here. It can chunk down those Immortals. It can do very well. The tanks finally get a chance to siege. The first one just doesn't quite go down. The Adepts not close enough, and two SCVs will begin to repair. So the tanks are siege. The battery is going to be in range of that tank, right? As the Adepts are going to come oh, no. in forward, they go down very quickly. The Immortal goes down super quickly, and Hero gets one tank. But is that enough? Because we have a lot of firepower left over for Bunny. Yeah, there's a second Immortal on the way, or at least hopefully there will be. That pylon is actually within sight there for Bunny, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to get it yeah the immortal does pop out that is going to be instrumental to holding this push it does get the last shot on the tank but now we're talking about a liberator blink is done he's gonna blink right behind that the marines really not packing all that much firepower so now at this point bunny is just trying to get whatever he can get which isn't going to be too much more as hero now has the room to micro i mean bunny actually is still going to continue rallying forward here that, that could be awfully dangerous. It, I don't know if it's going to work. We're paying attention to the Micro Wars right now, but what does Hero have in his natural once again? The Stalker's going to walk into oh. the tank. They both go down. Big shot from Bunny. And I don't think Hero's really warped in that much recently. He starts no. up a Colossus now. He's got one Stalker on the map, and Bunny is still here. His new tank arrived, and he's still got more reinforcements joining very soon. One Colossus, though, surely should be beginning to put an end to this. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to require all that much uh, additional gateway units to, to help that enough, especially since the Stalkers can actually get around this attack now that Blink is done, right? So they could Blink down to the low ground and then set up a bit of a concave or a surround, meaning that tank isn't going to be as efficient as it was when it was only shooting one direction. So yes, Hero will not crumble under this constant aggression. It will actually hold strong, but I think this game has been less Hero dominated than he was hoping for right he's not the one in control bunny right now is and i love that bunny backed away when he did he's got upgrades still coming through he's actually going to push forward again now with a couple of siege tanks stalkers want to try and get some damage those stvs putting in the work this game we've got a disruptor out as well this could be dangerous for bunny as we do come forward here these marines just need to be careful they backed away in time he's blocking that third as well i love it for bunny i just don't know if he still needs to be here before his upgrades finish, this feels very scary. He's going to have those upgrades in a second, though, ZG, so it yeah. looks like he's probably got the job done. Yeah, he just has a little bit too much, and Hero a little bit too few to actually ever knit this in the bud. So we have an increasingly larger problem, actually quite reminiscent to one of the games that they had played against each other in GSL. But it was the opposite way around. Hero was kind of overly aggressive, more so than expected, and he kept on just hammering the point so that Bunny, who kind of, 
you know, you thought, oh, no, it'll be okay, eventually crumbled. And that's what it feels like right here as Hero decides time to finally break out. But the Disruptors need some good shots already. Not so good. Hit his own Zealot. Didn't hit very much else. And Bunny looks to pounce on top of the Colossus. Good old-fashioned Shield Bounty Overcharge is going to save that for now. But the supplies are certainly telling the tale. Bunny is going to continue reinforcing. It gets the Colossus. And he has so much more than Hero right now. Way too much. So Bunny just says, yeah, my build kind of shuts that down. And, well, we saw a bit of this against Maru. Not this map, but on Stargaze, the gold base opening. We'll see if Hero can get something done with it. And right now, it's going to be one Oracle into a second. The Reaper Hellion heading to the bottom left side. There is already a prepared battery. There's an Adept nearby. Not sure Bunny will be able to find much here at all. He seems to agree, drops the grenade, backs it up, and is just going to wait until he has a little bit more to really try and strike, or maybe try to head to the main. He finds the Oracle, or well, the Oracle finds these units, and that means that they are going to run away. At least you force the Oracle to pop its Pulsar Beam. That's some energy activated, so that's now not an Oracle that's going to hit your mineral line. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I'm going to really pay attention to Bunny's grenades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, after the earlier one. <laughs> yeah. Legendary grenade. Yeah. All right, well, the Vikings going to really safeguard uh, Bunny's two-base setup against the Oracle play. And actually, it's going to hit that hole of the Oracle. Um, and, and okay. Really, this is the okay. very poor start from wow. Bunny, or from Hero. That uh, was supposed to live, preferably with a lot of health. Yeah, but I feel like this oh. depot is also meant to race. So three adepts get into the main base, and suddenly Bunny is on the run. He just dropped that mule down. It runs as well. Some lost mining time. A lot of lost mining time. I love the wooden mine around here. As the adepts will walk into it, they know it's oh. there. Going to try and set it off. Don't quite manage to. The adepts are indeed locked in, so this should be the end. But a lot of wasted time for Bunny just because he missed a depot lift. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think Hero still likes to start like this, right? Yeah. It's, it's still him in control. He's gotten away with his gold base rights, and now he's the one applying that pressure, getting a little bit of damage done, and uh, really also probably getting a little bit of, of happiness off of seeing Bunny make a mistake, like not lifting that supply depot. It's also now, as we approach the more the mid game, Bunny hasn't done anything about the gold base. Yeah. Like he has, like, Hero has just had a gold base and is now saturating his third, which is natural, which means that's very safe. So Bunny has to think about how he wants to push with the army he's built, the typical army. Does he just try and ignore the gold base? Do you really want to do that? Or do you want to go after the gold base after it's already mined so much and then, you know, maybe Hero defends, maybe he doesn't, but that's still already uh, given him so much in this game. And I love just how aggressively postured Hero is. You know, a couple of centuries, like, hey, you move out, I can force field you a little bit, maybe force you into the stasis ward. Just trying to be annoying. Do love that we see more and more Widow Mines on the way up here from Bunny. That's the one thing that Hero does not have a long term plan for right now. You know, Phoenix Zealot, very good, but Widow Mines will blow a lot of it up as the Phoenix here have a fantastic time picking off multiple Marines. Just stops that command center for a few more seconds as well. Just a little bit of extra pain here for Bunny in a game that is you know, quite frankly, just slipping a little bit further out of control moment by moment. Yeah, the third or fourth time that the other guy gets the advantage in these little micro wars, that's that's when you start to really feel it. First time, yeah, it's not a big deal. Second time, yeah, we're fine. Third time, yeah. and the fourth time, we just, yo, yeah, oh, this is the fifth or the sixth or the seventh. I don't even know at this point. Hero just keeps kind of bopping Bunny's attempts to move out, attempts to get something going for him, and now Hero is totally ready with an entire army to engage. Fuzal show up, Bunny is there quickly though, so minimizes damage taken. He needs to do that as much as possible from this point on. But the Prism's in the main base as well, and Hero has just had full control of this oh game. This God. is a minefield though! Big connections <laughs> on the army of Hero. I mean, Hero can just back away though. The rest of Bunny wasn't there. And at the same time, it's an SCV massacre. 14 dead, Zealot's still around in the third in the main. This is starting to be dealt with now, but Bunny is getting to the point where he's probably going to have one push to try and end this and he's going to be met face first by Colossi. Exactly. That is uh, that is the problem. Bunny might be still pretty good with the army supply, right? In fact, he's up 30. All right? But the Colossus are going to pop out. He doesn't have a particularly strong answer against that, just, you know, potentially a good engagement. If he goes across the map, it'll be defensive, so he's going to have a shield body overcharge. At this point, Bunny, I mean, he can win this game. It is not over yet, but it does, I feel, depend on Hero making an over-aggressive mistake, overconfident mistake, when, again, I don't think he has to. I feel like he can get the uh, the read on this game rather well. Just have to be very wary of the Widow Mines. But here come the Colossus. He's actually going to try and defend this gold base, which seemed like even maybe a little bit of a reach. Well, he's no. been doing it oh, with the drag. <laughs> Finally coming into effect. Most of the Widow Mines are actually still active, so the wow. Zealots are also going to get bopped a little bit. And this turns it a little bit more even than you would expect. And Bunny has a drop finally on the other side of the map, disturbing Hero's production. The recall went to the gold base, which I'm pretty sure 
It wasn't supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure there was no need for him to retreat via recall. He needed to go back home. He wanted to clean up that drop more easily. Does not manage to, and Bunny, a good couple of moments, but he's still down a ton of workers here. His army's good, but he still has no answer to Colossi, and now he has a way lower Widowmine count than he had before as well. I love that he's lifting up and moving around. The one thing Hero lacks after giving up those Phoenix, any type of mobility. He's building Blink. He doesn't really have any Stalkers. Those are the first one he's warping in, so coming across the map like this is a great way to apply some pressure. Let's see what he can do. That Colossus popped at the perfect time, though. It really did, and with just a little bit of support from the Zealots, it means the Medivacs have to try elsewhere where but we have stalkers in the main base. I believe a voider is also on the way, so that is actually going to help. There's not really a whole lot that shoots up. We also have an overcharged shield battery in the main, so Hero has locked down his main and natural, but what about that gold base? It has already mined quite a bit, but would still be a good snipe for Bunny. He won't be able to get it. Archon's Colossus. Here come the Zealots, and there's the tap out. He Pretty much, we're waiting for the Reapers to actually engage. Uh, also to be one of the first scouts here for Bunny as well. So he has no idea that his opponent's going into a Stargate, but probably will soon. As he immediately goes after the natural probes, he's gonna grab two, trying again to use those grenades to push away any actual arm units uh, away as much as possible. And uh, we're again looking maybe at six probes. Yeah. Yes. Better than last time, right? Looking for number seven as well. He'll chase, but T-Stalk is gonna be a bit uh, too much. But hey, six probes, Stalk is chasing. Yeah, really not a bad opening at all. And again, just catching Hero a little bit unprepared, right? You only have so few units, so your Stalkers mm -hmm. can't be everywhere. It's hard to cover every entry point, and obviously he's being saved just in case there was an early Hellion running in, just blocking that ramp. So, yeah, a lot to uh, a lot to kind of dissect there. Just a cool little opening, it just leads you into this nice follow-up. Yeah. And this time, a way faster tech lap from Bunny, so very different on the follow-up as well. That's a very good point. And I just want to mention for everyone who's, you know, maybe thinking, why aren't we getting a probe scout? Would not be able to see it? Uh, if it gets in early enough, probably. If it was denied by the second supply depot, then it wouldn't know if it was a two racks or a factory, but our micro battle starts a bit early. There's plenty of Marines here for Bunny. Hero's gonna need some support. He actually chooses to engage, re-engage with the Oracle. Will lose the Stalker, will not lose the Oracle. Obviously using its Pulsar Beam, so it's not gonna kill SCVs soon, but that was a lot of Marines to lose there for Bunny. Yeah, that was a lot to miss out on because now he's got basically zero Marines and anything you had kind of planned as a follow-up is now denied. And Hero is going to leave here as well before the Cyclone pops out too, so no threat of losing that Oracle. It will remain in this game. And now he's got a second, going to a third, and this is where having lost that Marine count is going to become quite scary down the line. And just in case, Hero sets up a little stasis ward as well to ensure he's going to be very safe here on his own defense. I'm looking at the main base of Bunny, and that's exactly the type of scenario that Hero would go for. <laughs> he would engage with these oracles. Oh yeah, absolutely. That cyclone goes down, and suddenly you're defenseless. The oracles pounce on the you know mineral line afterward, and you can just get so much damage done. So, yeah, high possibility right there from Hero, who has a lot of those oracles as well. So, definitely very scary for Bunny. A few moments here where he he would like to just kind of fast forward and get through this stage already, because this isn't even just three oracles; it's four <laughs> oracles. Into the main base we go. This cyclone oh, no. needs to start running yesterday, and it is going to get down the ramp. There's a few Marines here. There's a bunker, but there's just not enough. We kill at least one Oracle, which is something, and at least forcing the chase means less SCVs will die, but four, five, six, and that's the damage being done from Hero, who might lose a second Oracle, not quite. Yeah, yeah great start, and still has some energy to add more damage to this opening. Yeah, what really was unfortunate about that scenario was that there was three Oracles left over, right? Yeah. So that, that one shot the SCVs means they can glide as well, kind of while escaping, do a bunch of damage. So that's why so many went down. If it was one or two, obviously it's not as big of a deal. What looks like a uh, achievable uh, engagement, a good engagement for you, suddenly turns sour really quickly. So he's going to choose the safe path, pull back, and while that is probably correct, oh, probably no. wasn't going to get a great push, it doesn't bode well for the rest of the game, and this bodes even less well. With those shield batteries to help out, and there's no fourth base to really, you know, it's not going to cancel. Maybe delay it for a little bit, and Hero looks like he doesn't really want that to happen. Because, of course, that also means if Bunny gets in this position, then it is that leapfrog with the tanks that Hero could still have trouble with. He's got the numbers, but those upgrades are going to pack a wall up against the Zealots. Oh, the first Disruptor Shot comes forward and will try to clean out the double mine. Oh. Does manage to do so. Second Disruptor Shot could get a Hello. big one on the Siege tanks. Triple kill. The Phoenix come forward. They what? will just die, though. I think he was expecting mines to go blowing up, or he just lost control for a second, and the tanks are being repaired, Hello? so... Maybe still a chance here for Bunny. He's got tanks hitting away on the batteries on the front line, and, well, the disruptors currently are on cooldown. 
Bunny canceled his third CC, right, guys? Yeah. Like, this SCVs were a surprise. And that's a, that's the, the loss of the Phoenix actually going to be a super Ooh. big deal. Okay, well, less SCVs now as the Disruptor gets a mighty fine shot there. Now we're up to three Disruptors with the Robo still going strong. Bunkers are going to try to come down here. But Hero doesn't, doesn't feel like he's too far away from actually being able to pull the trigger. And that's exactly what he is going to do. Disruptors once again being thrown out, getting some connections. But it might just be the sheer surplus of Protoss units or no, the upgrade. No, They're no. pushing through. The tanks were actually not the biggest deal right there. Not enough splash hit. The mass amount of upgraded Marines could spell disaster for Hero. One that more disruptor! Down. No, it no. goes down! But oh he's in the God. natural! Oh my goodness, is a disruptor still running around? But he's obviously in some trouble. Robo unpowered. There's only just a couple of stalkers. If he unpowers the other Robo, there's only going to be one disruptor in play. But he's just going to chase after those units now as Hero tries to run away. So many probes going down, and Bunny with a 30 army supply lead. Reinforcements will be showing up. He gets rid of that disruptor. There should be a new one in a moment. But there's just a few zealots. There's just not enough. 1-1 one, one Marines, and Bunny goes to a 2-1 lead in this final. The SCV poll does it. Hero's going to opt for the Stargate play once again. Let's not forget that last game started with the four Oracles actually doing some significant damage. It really felt like it was Hero's uh, not quite game to lose, but it was certainly under his control. And again, he knew what was coming. It just was the composition and the way that it played out that played into Bunny's favor. Yeah, I mean, obviously it looks pretty good on Bunny's side, right? He's building the anti-Stargate defense. He's building a yeah. Reen Viking Cyclone. It's all designed to get rid of these Oracles, but positioning is everything. These few Adepts can tank a little bit. And these Adepts just shoot oh, no. into all of the Marines. The Cyclone's on the other side. Ooh. Disaster strikes for Hero. Just as Bunny's moving forward, triple Adept goes down. Didn't kill a thing. And now here comes Bunny. I mean, Hero's going to have to play defensive with the Oracles, and that was not the design, having to put down these Stasis Wards. Yeah, very, very unlucky Shaden right there. I mean, and the knowledge of this yeah. being on the way is how we're three Adept's lives. Stasis Trap's not going to do anything except by one second. Shield Battery's not even done on the natural. Could this actually already be it? Hero has so few units. Oh, the second Shield yeah, Battery isn't done. This, yeah, that's, that probably is going to save Hero's life then, although taking the fight directly, even with the Overcharge, is a bit scary. Using the Oracles to go across the map might net him a tank. And that is usually a very, very good sign in all of these STVs as well. Okay, Bunny's got his own problems. He does indeed, but once that super battery disappears, Bunny's got so much on this side of the map. Here, the probes are going to go down and return. Good micro back on that cyclone. Probes continue to drop. This zealot will tank for a while. Only really a couple stalkers. That count is now increasing. The batteries are both drained of energy. Probes are pulling in again. It is more probes killed here from Bunny than STVs lost back at home. And he's chasing 40 once these stalkers. Oh, preemptive scan as well, so you can keep the lock-ons when needed. And Stalker after Stalker is going down, and Bunny is in a great position. He owns Heroes Natural. Yeah, there's nothing that Hero can do to stop this. He's trying to get more damage done on the other side of the map, but it's just not comparable so far. Two Oracles still alive, but without that energy, Bunny is going to continue rallying forward. Hero going to try and use his own high ground to actually make some magic here, but what magic is he going to have going down his own ramp into a still healthy number of Terran near it. It feels like Bunny, I mean, even if he doesn't win right here, right now, he is in control once again of this game. Yep, he's got some stalkers on the other side. Uh -oh. There's a super battery now. I was kind of thinking that's going to be coming back up soon. The Oracle show up again, and his Bunny maybe messed this up a little bit. Like you say, it's still pretty good for him because he killed so many workers. His current army supply is an issue. Let's see what he can do back at home. I was so sad because there was a Viking that flew straight past the Oracles as well, yeah, back in yeah. Bunny's base. He could have killed both of them. Yeah, and I feel like maybe he could have focused more on getting rid of the pylons and the battery on the low ground because the <laughs> super battery was surely looming. No bunker ready. And Hero, well, let's see if he can uh, take down Bunny right now. This bunker finishing is huge, though. If Bunny can just finish that, he's got a few seconds to go. I think he's going to have the chance, and yeah. then Hero will have a much tougher time. Yeah, bunker's going to be done. Second tank is going to be out, but Bunny is currently up four workers, five workers, actually, guys, with the mules. That means that Hero is in a lot of trouble if he tries to play this out towards that mid-game. He needs to get something done, and already he has had the door shut in his face, even losing the last Oracle there. Uh, there's basically not much. I think he accepts that, and is just going to try and control the area while he can, but that will be temporary. And then Bunny will be ready to go with the push, and all after all of this superior economy, it's going to be a very difficult push for Hero to hold. Big problem for Hero, which is that if Bunny had just gone ahead and thrown a bunch of bio into a bunch of storms, well, thank you very much. I guess I made my comeback. But if Bunny notices their storms and says, you know what's really good against that? 
EMPs. And just gets EMPs. <laughs> uh, it's going to be very difficult for Hero, even with the best micro, to really get all of the storms he needs to cover the army deficit. Here we go, first storm, first turbo storm is coming down. Don't mind the pre-split from Bunny. Second storm on top of that tank, not sure about that. Feels like you need to be looking for bigger and better things. But that's the last storm, I believe, for the moment. So here we go, Bunny with a lot of bio, and Hero has, what, a handful of zealots? Archon that isn't even morphed in just yet. Let's see if he can defend as Bunny will be pulling back. He's going to have a bit of splash to help him out further back here. But the Archon goes down, the tank only gets one shot. It's just the power of bio. Will it be enough? The next couple of Wooden Mines not quite there. It does just feel like Hero is bleeding out, though. Like, yeah, yeah, he's pushing it back, but only because Bunny is being a responsible Terran player and not giving Hero too much of an opportunity. I like the way you phrase that, a responsible player. Just going for that pre-split. I mean, Hero was a little maybe over-eager to try and hit the heart of the army when the army was pretty much clearly in a position that it could split about as much as possible. So he really wanted to get one, two storms, of course, even more if he can, in the heart of a bunched up bio force and then bunny's army might have to retreat but again even if that was the case he would have just retreated back to his emps uh and that didn't even have to happen here did not get the good storm <laughs> he's still significantly down in supply cannot take out these widow mines and the storms will not be saving him for very long it is just a matter of time before bunny rallies enough units across the map to take this game as well I do not know where those last two storms came from, but one of them at least was decent. But look at all these mines. They are not going down. They're not being cleaned up after they fired. And Hero is just running out of units. Bunny is keeping up the pressure. This game truly was decided early. Bunny, like we say, responsible, waiting for his time to pounce. He's got these wooden mines now to help him out and just clean things up a little bit more easily. And he will struggle his way to a 3-1 lead. Yes, I mean, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen eventually, even if he does get entirely pushed back here which is actually impossible as the... Oh, no, okay, the final big ticket are the Wood of Mines. Uh, but still, basically impossible. Again, he'd have so much to run home towards. It's not like Hero pushes this back and then suddenly he's back in the game. Not, not even. So it is just Hero, I think, really digesting this game and the situation he finds himself in, which is now on his last life. I mean, incredible micro. He really survived way longer yes. than he ever should have done. The prison was great. He's done some cool things, but again, he, he needs to do this in the next few games. And maybe he's just getting warmed up for that, right? Because, yeah, this one really is done. Dodges another Widow Mine, just trying to save the Archon. Dancing, being frustrating. If you can annoy Bunny while he's winning the game, why the heck not do it? Yeah, right? Bunny's like, what are you doing? I want my cheers. Get out of the game. Because uh, Hero really is quite dead. Bunny's going to opt to, I guess, stop going for the head. Right, he's clearly dodging and weaving, gonna go for some of the legs, take out the third Nexus, and also force Hero once again through the minefield, which has just never been entirely cleared up. I think he keeps losing his observers to Splash. So it, it's here now, but it, it's nothing now to kill the Widow Mines. So an additional problem, there you have it. But All right, so the, these Reaper openers have been going pretty well for Bunny. It's not the only thing he's relied on, but again, something critical here is that even if he doesn't get, you know, a, the Mighty Fawn six probes or even four, I think he'd still you know, maybe want to uh, slow as two. He still, at the very least, kind of has that protection from anything early game hero is throwing at him, as well as just the idea that he is the one in control. He's the one looking around, trying to push hero back a little bit. This is hero going for our Twilight Council immediately. Good old four gate blink. We'll see what Bunny's defense is like against this, as hero just wants to bring the aggression and bring the control to this game early. Let's see if he can do it. He was. Honestly, not in that hard of a position against Maru with this until Maru and Siege that tank, right? Yes. And that changed the, maybe the history of this tournament as the Reaper shows up at a great timing. Just going to slow down a probe from sitting here and dropping a base easily. And uh, gets rid of that. Might sell the wrong idea to Bunny that Hero was immediately ready to expand, so potentially keep that in mind. But I, I don't think Bunny's going to be caught too unawares here. He's got a tank. I feel like he's going to be okay. Yeah, I mean, something had to come out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he does want to be able to take care of that also instantly, so he can aggress on the other side of the map uh, once the Stalker stop Thurpin, and actually get up there and micro his hard outs. There is a fair bit of space on inside and outs. As you can see, Bonnie doesn't want to really leave the protection of his production, as that where the tank can actually siege up kind of safely. Might be tempting for Hero to go after it, but it's already sieged up. He's going to wait for more Stalkers and actually try his luck in the natural. Yeah, I think he, uh, Bunny's biggest issue here is obviously he stopped building tanks, right? He never yeah. built a second one, so 
Without that, it's going to be awkward. He has one tank to move around. I mean, he's on his way to mines. They're not typically the best against Blink Stalkers. We drop the order turret here just to try oh! and help buy a bit of time. But as the tank goes down, you have to worry that Bunny just doesn't quite have the stronghold. He needs no bunker, no tank. How do you hold this position? Maybe hope the Stalkers blink on top of Widow Mines, I suppose. When Elliot's Stim, I guess. Right, exactly. I was going to say, you know, that lack of second tank can spell doom for a lot of Terrans. And perhaps without a decent amount of bio and Stim, uh, most importantly, finishing up, this would be a doomed game. But perhaps the bio stimming on the Stalkers will be enough with an SCV pool. Because right now it's not going to be enough by its lonesome. And even worse, it's coming up a ramp into it. The SCV is going to try their best to support. But Hero already doing a lot of damage. 15 SCVs go down. A couple of those key units going down as well. And his Stalker retention, pretty good. He's lost three so far, still leaving him with 19. Yeah, he, he's absolutely fine that everything's coming up behind this. It's going to be tough for, you know, for Bunny to find a way to really punish it just being Stalkers right now because he just doesn't have that much. He is going to maybe force this away, but at the cost of even more SCVs and yeah, just the lack of a second tank, right? Just yeah. going into the reactor, not using the factory to produce that further, losing the bunker on the natural before <laughs> anything was in it. That was maybe somewhat unavoidable. This game looks as though it's done. It looks as though Hero wants to keep our grand finals going. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this time around, Bunny going for an engineering bay block. Hero going for a proxy pylon. I mean, it's very possible he can yes. find it immediately. What a scout. Immediately. Uh, Massive for I mean, Bunny. It really was quite forward of Hero to do that. Yeah. Yeah. The, I don't know, man. This is cute, though. The SCV going to get back on the engineering bit for a little bit. The probe is right there, so a pylon okay, can okay. be built if needed. As we do see the probe actually going to go after the Reaper. The Adept's about to show up. Well, I guess the Reaper can't really stick around, but he'd love to just get the pylon because it will delay for a little while. Oh. The Reaper gets away, huh. too, just to add insult to injury. Oh, yes, I love that a lot. I do feel like he finished the engineering bay, though, which is obviously maybe a mistake. You would have liked to have left that just at the very highest HP to cancel later, but I still don't mind it. It's going to force that third now out of location. He knows there's an Oracle on the way straight into the Cyclone, and the Oracle's delayed to give that Cyclone a way better chance of being online in time. I don't think he used the engineering bay to build a missile turret immediately. That's, that's too much. That's too much of an over-defense, but uh, it is something that if it stays finished... That, that's true, actually, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe you finish it just to say, well, maybe... It gets crazy enough that I need it. Because so yeah. he has been building missile turrets eventually yeah. against these target openers. So. And, what, and what if he goes into like a Voidry or something, right? It's just nice yeah. to have that ability to suddenly to just go for it. That is this map. That is this map. He went for the Voidry. Wait, 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 evaporate that one from our minds, <laughs> but Hero's going to make us bring it up again. I kind of like the Cyclones across the map. Just going to be a bit cheeky. Look for denial. And this probe wants to expand, apparently. At least it's sitting there, but it will be denied. And the Cyclones go, hello. We like your mineral line. There's one stalk here to defend. No battery. And force and two stalkers on this side of the map right now. That alone is a victory. Yeah. Yes, it is. I mean, one cyclone might go down. Maybe not. But this is kind of the freedom that Bunny had since he didn't have to worry <laughs> about the Oracle harassment. Blink is finally done. And that was nice micro there from Hero to reach towards the back cyclone first. But any form of, like, instant follow-up aggression is now gone. I mean, this has taken so long. It was already kind of a weird aggression because it wasn't with that warp prism and that robo. So it was only coming in really from you know one direction unless he was hallucinating a scout uh, yeah so it, it just it probably wasn't gonna do amazing things but now it really is just going to scout and pseudo contain. Storm is not quite ready for them they're five energy away from Storm so and obviously the surprise factor as well three two one the Storm's gonna be here Bunny is gonna die for the Storm misses he kind of moves back through an awkward fight and Bunny does have to run away, hits a feedback hero, does on the way out. And now it's a little awkward because there's still Stalkers in the map. You don't want to lose these drops just from Stalkers blinking on top of you. So something to watch out for. Bunny loads up. Going to go maybe just hold the watchtower for a little bit. Wouldn't mind that. Hero's trying to catch the move out of the main <gasps> army as well. Oh, these two empty medevacs. We will get them if we're treating in time. Yeah. Uh, actually, maybe Hero paying attention some, somewhere else for just like half a second. Yeah. Uh, finally, Bunny is going to clear out the Zelnaga. Probably wants to leave that open for later. Or just really blind hero, right? But yeah. now we have the main oh. push out, which <laughs> oh, is already getting a little yeah. bit clumsy here for hero. He was kind of caught in all sides. Thought he had a save retreat path, but that was not correct. I really thought he did as well, but the order turrets obviously changed things up a little bit there as well. And these stalkers battered and bruised right now ahead of this upcoming fight as Bunny going to be coming in from the right. Kills off another zealot as well in preparation for this. Obviously, the storms here from hero have to be great. The widow mines from Bunny would look to zone out this army as well. 
So far, so good. Hero is going to slow Bunny down, but can he deal with all of the splash damage of the Terran? This seems so difficult to do. It's insanely difficult. We're talking about a 40 army supply lead for Bunny and an upgrade lead. Of course, the Storms don't necessarily care about that, but once again, they have to hit the center, and they have to also not die to the tanks before they throw out those Storms. Hero is going to go for the break, but is this really the moment? The Storms Ooh. do come down, and he managed to take down most of the tanks as well, leaving some area later, and the supply do get a little bit closer, but how many storms does Hero have left? I feel like he can't possibly have that many, right? I mean, we've got one tank that's still shelling away. Here we go, moving forward. But he, he is going to get stormed once, twice more, but he is mostly moving out of it. The Zelt take a lot of that storm damage, and the Zelt's going down 1-1 one, one against 0-0. Zero, zero. We've seen that before in this series, as Bunny needs to be careful, though. There might not be much splash left for Hero. But this is a situation where his army supply is nowhere near what it once was, and he's got Ghost, etc. now coming up. Yeah, a little bit of a heart attack there. Hero is in a very dangerous position. Any fewer storms or any worse storms, and he might have been a goner because he couldn't take out the tanks, and then it's the leapfrog forward once again. But Hero did exactly what he was hoping he would do, which is take the fight, push the Terran all the way back on this big map, and now he can work with this good economy. Finally on four bases, 70 probes, starting up a transition to those Colossus, which will add a lot of complexity to the army. The EMPs will no longer shut everything down. Yeah, it feels like Bunny's big timing in this game maybe disappearing. Widow Mines will run up here. Is Hero paying attention? He said, no, 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 no. Oh my god, the 16 probes! The Widow uh. Mines are massive for Bunny, and that economy advantage is deleted. Did he walk? Yep, here comes Bunny. He hits massive EMPs and maybe felt as though he had something there. He does have access to different bases. He has reinforcements being hit by those stalkers. Bunny obviously wants to get a position here. EMPs on the prism. I think he hit one of the Templar initially, so maybe one storm being taken away. I just don't think he's got enough to go through. I think he does need those Vikings that are being set up. He's trying to lead in with the Ghost. Has to be careful. Those Stalkers are making this a headache of a fight for him. Exactly. Really excellent army movement here from Hero as he's still trying to make this comeback happen, right, guys? This is his last life. He is absolutely desperate to buy a little bit more time and also pick off reinforcements, which include those Vikings. And now he thinks he has a moment. Plus two is finishing. Extended Thermal Lance is finishing, but it's not done yet. The War Prism goes down. Do we have any more Storms whatsoever? At this point, maybe we're a little less dependent, but they would be awfully nice to have as Bunny still looks to take a potential fight. I think it is getting increasingly more dangerous and he might choose to back away a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he's out of EMPs. Yeah, Hero's out yeah. of Storms, but Hero has the Colossi, so here we go. But he's just going to run it back. He does have Vikings coming through. The Storms just blink, so that's going to be dangerous. It means he can't deal with these Wood Mines as he did the last couple. Bunny going to be on the defense here as Hero might be looking for an attack in. No Prism, right? That died in the previous fight. He's got Colossi. He's got a Disruptor to use. Let's see if it will be enough as Bunny would love to just get a couple of EMPs to open up within this battle. Bunker on the high ground helps as well. And Hero's going to try the different angle. There's a base up there that Bunny would love to defend. So yeah, he kind of wants to be here. Hits a good EMP to start. And the Vikings really zone in the Colossi beautifully so far. Yeah, I mean, either one of these players could actually throw right here right now. And it's Hero who's going to dive after that command center. He's going to get it as well with the last stalker volley. But a lot of units will fall in the process. Hero does dip down in that supply. But he has a couple of those critical units that safeguard the retreat, primarily the disruptors. So he is going to be able to run back home, move on on to his fifth base while denying Bunny's fourth. Again, responsible from Bunny. He could have maybe jumped on that disruptor on the south and he could have maybe chased for everything. He does see this army, these oh. Vikings. They're looking for the Colossus. He's going to come in from top and bottom. Hits an EMP. The disruptor oh. is low. We're dodging. Massive oh. hit on the top side, though. Bunny couldn't dodge that. As we chase on forward, the disruptors have fallen, but there are new ones being spawned. And I think Bunny might have to slow down this attack because Hero looks like he's got plenty enough to oh. hold this off. We dive Whoa. for disruptor one and two. Bunny, you're a madman! Oh, that is exactly what Bunny is, but it might not be enough. He is once again on full retreat as Hero still sees a moment to shine. He's going to temporarily be pushed back. His Wood of Mines going to draw that line on the sand, use a Disruptor Shot to take them out. But Bunny is now the one down in supply. Down 10 Army Supply. Upgrades have evened up, and Hero is looking to take this game and bring us a tied series. He's moments away, and I think Bunny knows it as well. He's absolutely desperate. He's got a bunker to try and help out. More Wood of Mines are coming through as
as well. And Hero doesn't have those instant reinforcements. And he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's going to go for it. And that might be an overcommittal on Hero's side. Bunny will have to lose SEVs for it, something he really can't afford to do. But at least he's alive. At least he's alive. At least he's got a chance. There's not a lot of tech here from Hero. With Liberators out, maybe you hold on. But he needs to start rebuilding some SEVs. His fourth base is coming online. That's why he's fallen behind, because of that denial earlier. And with it online, with some extra STVs, maybe Bunny's still okay here. But of course, Hero keeps on expanding. He takes control of this game. This is Bunny now looking for a comeback. Cool. And just drops dying like that is not going to fill that requirement. And that's going to put him into a tough spot. He's been defending well. He's been stopping Hero. And you can see Hero flustered, landed disruptor shot, missed the wood online. But Bunny is going to just not have the economy he needs. He's never really rebuilt SCVs. Maybe he doesn't need to. He just needed the fourth base online somewhere to transfer workers to. But as Hero takes base after base, that's where Bunny is going to be behind. He will not have a fifth base option, and that is a massive issue. Absolutely. I mean, maybe if nothing happens in this game, he could get maxed out once more, but that is not something a hero is going to let happen. He is going to consistently look for the openings, take down whatever units he can find, even these wood mines relatively expensive for Bunny's economy to remake, but still very necessary. And Hero just needs to wait for the perfect moment, which he just shined at in his previous PVT against Maru, so I don't think he's going to falter here. I do not. What a crazy game number six. We finally got that longer game, right? This is yeah. kind of what I was suggesting we might get to see here, and we are getting it. And Hero's coming out on top. But he definitely had the early game, but yeah, later on, Hero's just being great. His army movements slowing Bunny down, making Bunny just unsure about his chances to attack as Liberators get dropped. Here comes Bunny's last stand as he drops some EMPs. Disruptors come back out of the no, and it looks though it's not going to be enough. Ah, the setup, it would be amazing, but the actual units in the setup. If he was maxed, yes. Hero would be dead right now. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, at a meager 130 supply, it just isn't, isn't really that impactful. There's not much that Bunny can do except hope that Hero blows up his own army with Disruptors, which uh, apparently is not going to happen. Bunny is going to have to tap out, and there you have it. Control Bunk goes down behind the mineral line, but he's actually going to react to no Reaper, so a little bit of a mind game here early. Just trick Hero that little bit. Oh, sorry, oh. that was a Reaper. <laughs> My bad. I'm just too busy looking at the crowd instead of the production tab early. <laughs> Lost track of the time. Yeah, so a Reaper will be very bothersome. Very bothersome indeed, because the bunker is going to go up, guys. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to go up in the potentially snowball area, which is the area capable of sniping the pylon. Yeah. Uh, and then that gets kind of weird, especially if they're building a second Reaper, which again, Bunny is not. So there's only so much aggression to begin with. But now, you know, the Pearls knows what to do here. Shield battery, wait for the stalkers. Okay, we're good. But yeah. Bunny, if he can delay this as long as possible, if he could actually get a couple of probes, maybe, with the salvage and the Reaper jumping up, this will be pretty good for him. Yeah, just going to be seeing this uh, Nexus obviously just taking a while to stop a next probe along here as the Adepts come forward. Battery about to be in action, so you can help out and heal these Adepts up. And this is where eventually this bunker will go down. The Adepts will try and get that SCV, of course. This is the little dancing game we play. We hit a good little grenade, and this dance will continue. But this is all buying time for Bunny to set up, of course. It's keeping Hero busy, and it's keeping Hero off the map with these couple of Adepts. That's true. Great micro. My goodness, I mean, this SPV. <laughs> both of these guys. Yeah. Uh, very nicely done on, I think, both sides. The SCV survived. That'd be amazing. With this Reaper, certainly won't. Nope. Not for very long. Uh, oh. Not going to be able to get a probe kill. The regen. Yes, well, there was that. Saves it for two more seconds. <laughs> Every bit of value you can find. Yeah. So they actually played this map um, in their in their GSL series, which was not their most recent series, by the way, guys. Hero had been very much favored against Bunny for most of the year first map and now he's doing it again here so the openers are still slightly different uh, from both parties but this push is is quite similar so we're going to be looking for that snowball effect that he was able to achieve way back at the start of the series and of course hero wanting to stop that is getting a little bit greedy right now with the double forge gonna definitely have to prioritize actually dealing with this but he has blink done so the stalkers are already a bit better than they were again on the first map hopefully he's able to can it actually save them all? Here comes the Immortal as well. This time around, going to back up into, I suppose, a shield battery yeah, whenever it finishes. Yeah, there there's, there's one right up top as well by the Robo, too. So not too concerned. I mean, obviously, this is where, you know, Hero doesn't have to defend a third as well. But Bunny's pretty committed with this Liberator here. Another tank will be coming across the map. The good news for Bunny is obviously Hero is not on the map. He doesn't have Stalkers around to go and intercept. And that's maybe what we're setting up to do right now. 
as the Liberator can obviously do a lot here. I like the bunkers. It really kind of puts the timer on here. If he lets those go up, engaging will be more difficult. Yeah. Here are the Stalkers looking Ooh. for this interception. The Medivac going back to get the tank, but it might actually create an escape for the Siege tank. And did Hero see it? I don't think he did. Oh, Maybe oh, now oh, he sees it as funny. Oh my goodness, he's gotten away. Jesus. Oh, the Blitz already <laughs> used. And he has boost. Oh run, my God. Bunny, run. Oh my God, boost. He boosts the safety of his units again. I believe that just happens. That was an extensive chase of tag. One that Hero did not win. Hero's going to try and come from behind and the front, of course, as well with the Immortals and Shield Battery. Start picking off some of the critical units. It's the start. It's not the full like, trigger pull, right? He also has a Disruptor on the way, and he would love to have charge. It's a relatively fast upgrade. Great pickup there from Bunny to save his units from the Disruptor. But Hero is back on the reinforcement line, something that Bunny can't really stop now. Yeah, there's going to be a lot tougher to stop and actually maybe a big issue. He's not able to break through the front. He's lost a lot of his pushing power. I believe he sent one lib around the top to aim for the main, but look at these stalkers go. They Whoa. want to hit more than the production oh, no. line. The production itself, tank goes down, and Hero's just going to sit here and start killing workers. This is where Bunny almost has to be doing damage across the map. The lib will siege up. Stalkers are defending over here as well. It looks as though Bunny has fallen apart as Hero uh -huh. is taking this fully into his own control. Oh, if that tank on the high ground was siege, and that's beautiful. I mean, that would have been so helpful, but it wasn't. So Hero actually able to get quite a few SCV kills, loses a couple of his own probes. We're still talking about two base to two base, a 10 worker difference, which is good for the Protoss, but, you know, not like the most amazing thing ever. And Hero maybe even going to lose. Nah, no, uh, blinks away. That is the safe call. So this is this has turned interesting, but unfortunately for Bunny, not particularly well for him. He really wanted to apply more pressure, hopefully, to a greedier Hero. You know, I said he was greedy with yep. the double forwards, but then he just didn't get them. He was still ultimately on two bases, kind of prepping for a push once again, and was able to build enough to for, you know, stall it out, but then out to position it. So he played that out perfectly, and Bunny just kind of didn't really have the great build order. It would have had to have gone really good, really fast. And it just didn't. Oh, this might be a game ending push. We blink straight on here, and Hero has no chill at all. He's got so many disruptors. He's got Immortals as well, and Bunny has to pull off a miracle defense. He had to drop that left. It gets killed coming back, and Bunny just doesn't seem to have the numbers. It looks like he knows it. Hero's looking to complete the comeback. He backs away for the moment, but I think Bunny is already somewhat admitting defeat to himself. He scans out. He looks to see what there is. The Stalkers will blink, but without Stim, without plus one done, he just doesn't doesn't have anything, and Hero has way too much. He does indeed, guys. Hero is looking to take this championship, Bunny doesn't have a hope, unfortunately. The last few units getting taken out, and Bunny just doesn't really want to admit defeat. So close once again, but Hero, the smiling assassin, he knows he's got this game, he's got this championship, and he is just waiting for the GG. He is just waiting for Bunny to give it up. Bunny not even doing anything. There it is. Hero gets it. Four to three with the comeback. Had to go the entire distance. He is going to be your Dream Pack Masters Atlanta champion. Absolutely fantastic.